Tabletop, surface coating, top coating, quick coating, deep pouring, thick setting, winter coat, top coat, hot and spicy, coat of arms. I mean, it just feels like there are a thousand epoxies out there. How do you choose which one when? Which one do you choose for which project? That's a lot to consider. Here's the secret. All the epoxies that you see out there, well, 95% of them, boil down to just four different types. Let me clear the air and explain each one. Look, if you find this video helpful, give me a thumbs up at the end of it, but only if you find it helpful. And if you want to see more content like this, hit the subscribe button and I'll keep going. As usual, you know what I need, my whiteboard. Let's talk fruit. I've drawn really quickly for us an apple, an orange, a banana, and a bunch of grapes. Each one of these is gonna represent a type of epoxy. Also over here, you're gonna see a pie, a beautiful glass of orange juice, some bread, and, well, a glass of wine. Now keep in mind, all of these are fruits, but they're all very, very different and have different applications. An apple is delicious in pies, and orange, well, that's a good way to start the morning. Bananas, that ah, makes my all-time favorite bread, banana bread. If you'd like to send me some banana bread, I'm not gonna be mad at you. And grapes, well, Grapes make the most important thing on this board. Now, yes, these are all fruits, but not each one of these works for all the other applications that we have over here. For instance, I don't want anything to do with banana pie, and I don't want to deal with grape bread either. They would just get hot, and it would be like a nasty, gushery, fruity situation. That sounds terrible. All right, so each one of these fruits, well, it coordinates to a certain type of epoxy. If we look at our apples, and we can call that our surface coating. You might have heard of this as a uh, tabletop. I'll represent that with TT, tabletop. Or orange, let's call that our more UV resistant. That's gonna have that extra juice in there to make sure it doesn't yellow nearly as quickly. Our bananas, we can call that our uh, quick curing. And then lastly, we have our grapes on here. Let's call that our deep pours. These four types of epoxy, that's it. I mean, that's 99% of the epoxies that you see out there on Amazon, online, and all these YouTube videos. They're one of these four types. So what are these four types of epoxies good for and what are they not good for? Well, for surface coatings and tabletop epoxies, tumblers, counters, that stuff is perfect for it. It's made for that. For UV resistant stuff, that's where art comes into play, photo encapsulations, stuff you want to protect and have it not yellow so quickly. Now, quick carrying epoxies, Perfect for sealing wood, for fast coatings, when you need to keep going on a project and you don't wanna wait 24 hours for something to cure. And then deep pour epoxies are obviously perfect for river tables, large castings, and you still want beautiful clarity. Now these four types of epoxy are great, but this isn't enough information, I don't think. I think you need more details. I'm not gonna be able to talk through all the other competitive products out there because, well, I don't have all those details. But I do have our details, so let's use our products as the examples. So let's spin this board around and I'll talk through these products. I'm such a Vanna White. What a good job. I bet you it's really hard. I bet you she makes it look easy. Anyways. <laughs> All right, here's our chart. Here are our four epoxies. This is Amazing Clearcast. That's our surface coating or tabletop. Amazing Clearcast Plus, that's our UV resistant one. Amazing Quick Coat, that's our fast curing. And then Amazing Deep Pour, you guessed it, our Deep Pour epoxy. On this side, I've got some attributes that we should talk about. Depth, speed, air release, UV resistance, hardness, and then applications again, because that's really why you're here. All right, so for depth, for Amazing Clearcast and Amazing Clearcast Plus, you're looking at about 3 eighths of an inch, not quite half of an inch. For Amazing Quick Coat, it's an eighth of an inch. Remember, that's a fast setting epoxy, so we're dealing with more exotherm there. Can't pour as deep. And for Amazing Deep Pour, well, that's two inches. That is ideal. All right, let's talk speed. I threw you off, didn't I, Matt? <laughs> I definitely threw you off. Gotcha. All right, let's talk speed. Uh, for Amazing Clearcast and for Amazing Clearcast Plus, you're looking at about a 24-hour tack-free time. Depends on your temperature, so always keep that noted. Amazing Quick Coat, though, hey, yo, four to six hours. That's fast, hence Quick Coat. For Deep Pour, though, you need time. 24 to 72 to get that tack-free. Depends on your temperature, again. Is this fully cured? No, that's still five to seven days or three to five days, depending on your product. Next up, air release. Here's the thing, I'm gonna shoot you straight. We formulate all of these to have amazing air release for their applications. I've put best over here for amazing deep pour so that you realize 
A two inch pour is gonna take a lot of air release in order to get that crystal clear. That's why I made deep pour is water thin so that the bubbles can get out of there. But keep in mind, it's water thin. It's not gonna do a good job coating a tumbler. Go ahead, pour water on your tumbler and let me know how much of it stays on. UV resistance, I think you can predict this one. The best on this board is definitely the UV resistant epoxy. Hmm, wonder why. I will say though, we do formulate every one of our epoxies though to have fantastic UV resistance as much as possible within that formulation though. But if you're looking for that extra juice, you want an ACC plus. Second to last, let's talk about hardness. That's shore hardness on the D scale. What is that? Well, maybe I should put out a video about that. If you wanna see that video, maybe subscribe. That one will come out in the future. Anyways, you can see that ACC, AQC, NADP, it's a lot of acronyms, are 80 on the shore D scale. That means they're really hard and really durable, but not that far behind is Amazing Clearcast Plus with 75D. These things are as hard as like construction work or hard hats. There's nothing soft here, folks. Why should you care about hardness? Well, the fact that we've made these really, really strong just means that it's gonna be a lot more durable. It's gonna be harder to ding up your projects and scuff them. Last but not least, la piste de resistance is the application. When should you use this stuff, right? So for a surface coating epoxy, like our amazing clear cast, this is for, believe it or not, surface coating. Small castings, countertops, stuff where you're gonna pour on a flat surface or a rounded surface that you're gonna rotate consistently and get a beautiful thin coating. For Amazing Clearcast Plus, we're looking at art coatings, photo encapsulations, something where you want that project to last as long as possible because it has maybe sentimental value, memories to it, or it's gonna be outside a lot, like a tumbler where that you're taking around here. That's great if you need that extra UV resistance. For amazing quick coat, this is where we're sealing wood. For me, I use this to seal up a board before I pour a deep pour epoxy on it. That means that I'm not gonna have any air bubble issues or moisture issues, and since it's only gonna take four to six hours, I can keep my project moving. For amazing deep pour, well, I hope it's obvious by now, but river tables, large castings, things where you're really pouring thick and you need that extra time for the air to release, and you need the extra time to make sure it doesn't exotherm and turn yellow and gross. So there it is. Now you know the four different types of epoxy, when to use each one, and kind of what are the features and benefits of each. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, and also subscribe if you want to see more content like this. If you've got specific questions, I want to know about them. Put them in the comments below, and I'll either answer them here, or maybe, if a lot of people have it, I'll do a whole nother video on it. As always, don't hesitate to reach out to us on Instagram or call us or email us, whatever works for you. We're here to help. Till next time.